Hi everyone, this is Mr. M. Gomez. Today, we will illustrate the following. Mutual exclusive events, union, intersection, and complement of events. So let's start with mutually exclusive events. These are two events that cannot happen at the same time. For example, getting an odd number or an even number from numbers 1 to 10. For not mutually exclusive events, these are two events that can happen at the same time. For example, getting a prime number or an odd number from numbers 1 to 10. Okay, now let's illustrate using Venn diagram. Let's say we have sample space, S. These are numbers from 1 to 10. So we have two events. These are odd and even. For odd numbers, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. For even numbers, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. As you can see, we do not have same numbers or common numbers. That's why we, do, we called it disjoint or mutually exclusive event. For the union of two events, we commonly use OR, let's say ADD or EVEN. Look at the shaded region. This emphasizes that we need to combine the elements of two events. So, the union of O and E, those are elements from 1 up to 10. Or in words, that is O or E, that is equal to the elements from numbers 1 to 10. For the intersection, we commonly use end. Look at the given Venn diagram. Do they have numbers in common? No, they don't have. That's why the intersection of O and E is null. Or in words, O and E has no element. Let's illustrate their probabilities. For the union of events, we have probability of O union E. In words, this is probability of odd or even. That is equal to probability of odd, so the blue region, that is 5 out of 10 numbers, plus the probability of even, the red region or the pink region, that is 5 over 10. So 5 over 10 plus 5 over 10, that is equal to 10 over 10, or equal to 1. For the intersection of events, the odd number, since this is disjoint or mutually exclusive event, the intersection of O and E is null. So the probability of O intersection E is equal to 0. So let us have the complement of an event. So the complement of the event O is all elements of sample space or S not present in O. So we remove the odd number and try to look at the shaded region. So those are the complement of event O. The elements are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Or that is the element of even number. The complement of event E is all elements of sample space or S not present in E. Try to look at the shaded region. The elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Or these are elements of odd numbers. So now let's illustrate the probabilities on complement. Since O complement or the complement of event O is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Counting their elements, so the probability of the event O is 5 over 10, or 1 half. Using the formula, the probability of the event O is equal to 1 minus probability of O, or that is sample space minus probability of O. The probability of sample space is 1 minus 5 over 10, since probability of O is 5 over 10. And that is equal to 5 over 10, or 1 half. The complement of event E having the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, if you count them, the probability of the event E is equal to 
5 over 10 or that is equal to 1 half. Using the formula, the probability of event E is 1 minus probability of E or the probability of sample space minus probability of E. So that is equal to 1 minus probability of E is 5 over 10. So that is equal to 5 over 10 or 1 half. Example number 2, getting a prime number on an add number from numbers 1 to 10. So the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, and 7 from 1 to 10. And add numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Let's illustrate using Venn diagram, sample space, numbers from 1 to 10. So since we have common numbers, 3, 5, 7, let's put it at the middle on the purple one 3 5 and 7 so what is the remaining prime number so prime minus o is 2 then for odd numbers that is 1 and 9 since using the formula that is o minus prime the elements are 1 and 9 so from numbers 1 to 10 what numbers are not included in prime and odd numbers? So these are 4, 6, 8, and 10. So let's put them outside the circle to complete the Venn diagram. So this Venn diagram is known as joint or not mutually exclusive event since we have common number at the middle, 357. Now let's illustrate the union. P union of O or the elements of P union of the elements of O these are 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and 9 so let us have their intersection the intersection of prime and odd number these are the common numbers at the middle the elements are 3, 5, and 7 illustrating their probabilities so the probability of prime is equal to 4 over 10 since there are 4 numbers or that is equal to 2 over 5. For the probability of odd numbers, we have 5 over 10 since there are 5 numbers or that is equal to 1 half. Now, probability of P and O, this is P intersection of O, that is equal to 3 over 10. Since the common numbers are 3, 5, 7, we have 3 numbers. For the probability of prime or O in other book, this is probability of P, union O. We combine their elements, so we have 6 numbers out of 10, so that is 6 over 10. For the formula, that is probability of P, which is 4 over 10, plus probability of odd numbers, that is, 5 over 10 minus the probability of their intersection or P intersection O there are 3 numbers so 3 over 10 4 plus 5 minus 3 that is equal to 6 over 10 or 3 over 5 for the complement of an event so the complement of event P is all elements of sample space or S not present in P so P complement is equal to sample space minus prime so we subtract prime from sample space so the remaining elements are 1, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10 for the complement of event O so all elements of S not present in O so O complement is equal to sample space minus O we subtract O from the sample space the remaining elements are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So let us have their union. So P complement, union of O complement. In other book, this is the complement of event P or event O that is equal to S minus the intersection of P and O. So the intersection is 3, 5, 7. Therefore, the elements are 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Or, just combine the elements of P 
P complement and O complement. Now, let's take their intersection, or in other book, this P complement and O complement. So, it is equal to S, or sample space, minus their union, P union O. Try to look at the Venn diagram. We remove the white region, so the remaining numbers are 4, 6, 8, and 10. Or just look at the given elements, we get the common, which is 4, 6, 8, and 10. Okay, let's illustrate the probabilities. The so probability of P complement or the complement of event P having the elements 1, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Counting their elements, so the probability of P complement is equal to 6 over 10 or 3 over 5 after dividing by 2. In formula, the probability of P complement is equal to the probability of sample space minus probability of prime. So probability of sample space is 1 minus probability of prime is 4 over 10. So 1 is 10 over 10. 10 minus 4 is 6 over 10 or 3 over 5. For O complement having the elements of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Counting the elements, so the probability of O complement is equal to 5 over 10 or 1 half. So in formula, the probability of O complement that is equal to the probability of sample space minus the probability of O. So, the probability of sample space is 1 minus probability of O is 5 over 10. So, 1 is 10 over 10. 10 minus 5, that is equal to 5 over 10 or 1 half. Let's take the probability of the union. So, having the elements of 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Let's count the elements. We have... 7. So the probability of P complement union O complement is equal to 7 over 10. In formula, this is probability of P complement union O complement that is equal to P of S minus probability of their intersection P intersection O. So P of S is 1 minus their intersection is 3 over 10, 3, 5, 7. That is equal to 7 over 10. Since 1 is 10 over 10, 10 minus 3 is 7 over 10. For the probability of their intersection, having the elements 4, 6, 8, and 10. So let us count the elements. We have 4. So the probability of P complement, intersection O complement, is equal to 4 over 10 or 2 over 5. Using the formula, the probability of P complement intersection O complement equals the probability of sample space minus the probability of their union. Look at the Venn diagram. So we remove the white region. Probability of sample space 1 minus 6 over 10 since the union are 6 numbers. Since 1 is 10 over 10, 10 minus 6 that is equal to 4 over 10. Dividing denominator and numerator by 2, that is equal to 2 over 5. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learn, please don't forget to subscribe. God bless.